In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Battle.net getting stuck on scanning game files when you're trying to update Call of Duty Warzone. So there's many reasons why your Battle.net might be getting stuck when scanning game files for Warzone. So follow each one of these methods and then after doing each method, then launch Battle.net again and see if it resolved the issue. So the first thing you need to do is just completely close down battle.net. The next thing you need to do is open up File Explorer. You now need to click on this PC and you need to just ensure that the drive you're trying to update Warzone on or install Warzone 2 has enough disk space. If the drive doesn't have enough disk space, then battle.net will get stuck when scanning game files. So if you did have to free up some disk space, once you've done that, go ahead and launch battle.net again and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is keep battle.net open because we want to change the region. So at the moment, I have Europe selected, which is the correct region for myself. However, if you do not have the correct region, then that could be causing you the problem. So make sure you do have the correct region selected. Once you have changed this, if you did need to change it, go ahead and click the update button again and see if that resolves the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing we want to do is click on the settings cog and you now need to click on show in Explorer. This will open up the location of your Warzone folder. We now need to go into Call of Duty Modern Warfare and you now need to go into the data folder. Once you're in this folder, you now need to completely close down battle.net. I'm going to do that now. Once you have closed down battle.net, we now need to go into the next data folder and you now need to change the order of the size by clicking on size. So we have the smallest size first. You now need to select the first file and you then need to scroll down until you get to the next big file, which is 12 kilobytes for me. You then need to hold down shift and you need to select the last file that's 1KB. And you will now have all the 1 kilobyte files selected. You now need to press delete and this will delete those files. Once you've done that, you now need to go ahead and launch battle.net again and see if this resolves the issue. If that didn't fix the problem, then close down battle.net again. And you now need to go to the battle.net folder. So we need to go back to the root where we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare and you now need to right click on this folder and rename it. You can simply just add a one to the end of the folder and then click. We now need to launch battle.net again and once you have launched battle.net it should now say install for Warzone because it cannot detect that you have Warzone installed on your computer. So we now need to click on install. You now need to ensure the install location is the same location where you already have Warzone installed. So my location is absolutely fine. However, I don't actually have enough disk space. So I'm going to modify the install quickly by deselecting all these options here and then go and confirm. So I now have enough disk space. You also do need to make sure you have changed the modify install to what you currently have installed on your computer. So I know I don't have the campaign multiplayer spec ops and survival installed. So once you're happy, you can now go ahead and press start install. We now need to let the install begin. So as you can see, it's now fetching data. And once it's finished doing this, we then need to pause the install. So now it's changed to 87 gig remaining. I need to pause the install. I now need to close down battle.net. Once you've closed down battle.net, we now need to delete the folder that is just created. And we then need to rename our folder back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We now need to open up battle.net again. And we now need to resume the install again by clicking on the play button. And as you can see, it's now beginning to do the update. And this should hopefully resolve the issue you were having with it getting stuck on scanning game files and not updating. However, if that still doesn't resolve the issue, then the only other thing you can do is just ensure that your security is not blocking battle.net from updating and also try turning off UAC. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You then need to go on to settings. 
You now need to type in the settings search at the top UAC and click on change user account control settings. You now need to change this to never notify. Once you've done that, press OK, restart your computer and then open up battle.net again. So that now brings me to the end of this video. Comment below and let everyone know which method helped resolve the issue for you in this video. And also if this video did help you out and you enjoyed it, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.